So we're going to talk about the Sonic the Hedgehog movie uh, and the supposed leak, uh, now two different leaks, of the design of Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, I, man, where do we begin with this one? Uh, we could begin with uh, the, the, the creator of Sonic, Yuji Naka, um, not being impressed. He put out a tweet that roughly translates to, um, I think that the image of Sonic's movie design should come from the official film company. I think that this is a staged leak, but when it comes to things with a bad direction, it would be better to go to Sonic's IP, but it is not. There's also a possibility of a well-made fan mock-up, but I want him to be wearing gloves. It's shocking that his hands are white and bare um what is he talking about well there's this leak of sonic um and then there's this leak of sonic and then there's like this more artistic leak of sonic <laughs> oh my gosh guys um i i get it i get why you're upset i get why each and every single one of you are probably down in the comments laughing about this design and just writing this off as another bad sonic movie and i understand if you dig into like the producers and the directors and some of the writers and all this stuff and you go into their past work there's a bunch of films in there that critics didn't like and some fans didn't enjoy and uh this movie has in many people's minds disaster written all over it, and the Sonic design was kind of the nail in the coffin. Although, to be fair, when we saw this movie poster, uh, we kind of already knew that Sonic wasn't going to look, um, you know, like the Sonic that we grew up with, with the disproportionate body and all that stuff. We knew it was going to be different. That being said, uh, whether this design is a fan mock-up or is legit, and it looks legit because it really does line up with, with the movie poster. There's no real reason for it not to be legit at this point. And, uh, the, especially the second leak looks like it's coming from a media event that's going to be happening soon. I just, I'm, I'm kind of left with this, uh, sense of, I don't agree with some of the critics of this design. Let me, let me explain, because it feels weird to say that, because uh, Let's Go, I mean, not Let's Go, but, you know, Detective Pikachu movie coming out, uh, the Pokemon that are in real life form, some don't like the designs, but the designs at least feel true to what the Pokemon are in the game. I, I, to me, my issue with a lot of video game movie adaptions is that the movies themselves try to stick too close to the source material, and... My, in my personal opinion, when you try to stick too close to the source material, both not only in the design of the characters and the movie and the costumes, but in the storytelling, uh, what ends up happening is instead of making a good movie, you make a poor telling of a video game story in a movie form. Video game stories only work in the interactive gameplay environment. And even then, you know, if you compare that story to, say, you know, Game of Thrones or something like that, Game of Thrones obviously just has a much more compelling story compared to most video games. And video games that we remember with amazing stories, there are people that love the story, like in Red Dead Redemption 2 or The Witcher 3, they're usually paired with something else in the game that makes it stunning and, and masterful. Red Dead Redemption 2, it's just the beauty of the world. And, yeah, some people do like the gameplay of it but you know the, the point is that there's something else attached to that great storytelling the witcher 3 has that amazing world and that gameplay and everything around it attached to the story if you just take the story on its own and forget everything else they're not actually super strong compared to say a, a, a typical hollywood blockbuster movie so when you're talking about this adaption of sonic the hedgehog movie I don't want Sonic to look like Sonic from the cartoon series. I don't want him to look like any of the Sonic designs from the video games because this shouldn't be a video game movie. This should just be a movie that stands on its own. And I'm going to say something that's a little controversial. Um, you guys remember the Mario Bros. movie, right? The Super Mario Bros. movie um, that uh, where... <laughs> where uh, King Koopa was, was, was a human, and, you know, they went to this, like, steampunk underworld, and uh, it, it really strange movie. It, it feels nothing like a Mario game, right? Uh, some people, you know, it, 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 I guess it's a cult classic for some. I love that movie. 
I absolutely adore that movie. Like the little wind up bomb, <laughs> the, the little the little toy wind up bomb. I'm like, oh, it's so awesome. Like I love that movie. And I know maybe I'm just someone that likes bad movies, and that's entirely possible that I'm just that person that loves bad movies. But I can't help it. Like I watched that movie. I, I just watched it yesterday to make sure that I'm actually sane here and actually believe this. And it wasn't just my childhood brain just being so happy that this Mario thing exists. And sure enough, I was laughing. I was loving it. I love the world. Design. I love the story. There wasn't really anything I disliked about the movie. And the thing about it is I get that people didn't like it because it didn't feel like Mario. But that's exactly why I liked it. Because it kind of just said, look, we're just going to kind of take like the Mario characters and just do whatever the hell we want with it. And I loved it for it. It felt like one of those sci-fi flicks. Like It was so interesting to me. I loved it. I loved every bit of that movie. And when it comes to uh, this, like, yeah, Sonic doesn't look like Sonic. I don't really care. Um, if it did, I'd be even more worried about the movie. I don't care if they, they, they make a great-looking Sonic, you know, CGI character. That's not going to make the movie good or not. Like, you can hate the design, and I understand why people hate it. It doesn't look like Sonic, or at least doesn't look like Sonic the way we know it. It looks like some humanoid prepubescent teenager uh with lots of fur and spiky hair i get it i understand but i just I, I look at this design and i'm like hey you know what they're doing their own thing with this movie and i'm okay with that I, i'm literally okay with them just doing their own thing is it gonna be a good movie we don't know anything about it to tell if it's going to be a good movie. All we know is there's a Sound of the Hedgehog movie coming. We know some of the people behind it. And if you don't like their prior work, you're kind of probably biased already to hate the movie. And if you don't like the design, it's going to make you more biased to hate the movie. And I'm just sitting back like, I don't think this design is really as bad as people make it out to be. Um, I think uh, it, it looks like this alien... Um, transformative thing like uh, in T Ninja Turtles where like the ooze dripped down into the the sewers and got on the turtles and uh the, you know the rat and it like I, it feels kind of like you know a mutation of a hedgehog and I'm cool with that like that doesn't bother me I honestly think that this is um interesting to say the least and I get it a lot of you might hate this video. You're going to hate my opinion on it. It is just my opinion. I don't know if I'm going to like this movie. I do know I am going to watch the movie. And I haven't decided if I'm going to the theater for it or not. But I am going to watch the Sonic the Hedgehog movie eventually. And uh, I'll reserve my judgment for the movie at that time. But when it comes to this specific design of Sonic, I get the outrage. I just can't help but be like, I kind of like it. I, I think I put out a tweet on this earlier. You know, I, I low-key like this design. And uh, I'm probably alone in the universe with that opinion. I've seen a lot of people screaming on Twitter about it. A lot of YouTube videos. A lot of people in, in Q&As just like, you know, screaming from the mountaintops from their soapboxes that, hey, uh, this is really terrible, LOL. I, it's easy to make fun of this design. It's easy to make fun of Sega. It's easy to make fun of the people behind the movie. But I'd rather reserve judgment until I see the movie. And as for the design itself, it's something new. It's something unique. It's something fresh. And uh, it's probably not as bad as people fear it is. Uh, I'll give you a kind of one example. Now, I, well, I mentioned the Ninja Turtles earlier. The original trilogy of Ninja Turtle movies, the real-life Ninja Turtle movies, um, are some of my favorite movies uh, of all time. Now, the third movie is admittedly a bad movie, but the first one and Secret of the Ooze are amazing, and the Ninja Turtles in that look really hyper-realistic. Obviously, we know the costumes for those turtles were made by, you know, one of the best costume and puppet makers of all time in Jim Henson. So like, of course they look so amazing and it's like true to the cartoons, but also kind of looks like this is what like an adult real life Ninja Turtle would look like. Like amazing, cool. It's like a realization of our, of our dreams of what Ninja Turtles look like in real life. But then we got the new TMNT movies that had, uh, that, that were, again, were real life TMNT movies, but they had these really crazy designs on the turtles that look stupid and i thought it was horrible and it ruined my childhood and then you actually watch the movies and you know what the movies actually weren't half bad there's a reason that there's a couple of them because they actually are decent movies and the more you watch it the less and less i honestly cared about the design of those characters and it felt less off-putting the more i watched so 
Um, my thing is that, like, yeah, this can be off-putting for you, but maybe the movie ends up not being as bad as you fear it is. For me, I'm not off-put by this design at all. I like unique designs like this. This this is like the first big indicator to me that Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie, is forgetting that it's a video game series and they're trying to make a compelling movie. Uh, and this design choice, I think, clearly signifies a separation of movie and game. And that's what I think it takes to make an excellent video game movie is you need that separation of video game and, and thing like like the thing that excites me, I think the most about Detective Pikachu. If you've played Detective Pikachu on 3DS, um, you could already tell in the trailer. There's a ton of, of different locations, a ton of different story elements that are completely different from Detective Pikachu the game. What they're doing with Detective Pikachu the movie is they're forgetting. They're they're they're, they're setting aside the Detective Pikachu game and they're just creating a compelling movie about Detective Pikachu you know, the main character, and, you know, this world of Pokemon. They're, they're setting aside the game and creating their own narrative and their own world based on an obscure side dish in Pokemon. They are setting that aside to do their own thing, and that's what makes Detective Pikachu look so amazing. Now, yes, obviously you guys probably like the designs of some of the characters more. I've seen some people that don't like Charizard's design, or maybe they don't like Jigglypuff's design or whatever. I get it, but bottom line is that there's probably a design in there that you do like, I'm assuming, and it's got Ryan Reynolds, which obviously gives it a little bit of clout because people are loving Ryan Reynolds. I don't know that people ever didn't like Ryan Reynolds, except in that one superhero movie that we shall not name. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, I... I gotta say, this is uh, this isn't as bad as I think people are making it out to be. So you guys, let me know. However, I mean, this is just my opinion. You guys, let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. How much you hate the design? Maybe you're like me and you low key kind of like it. And I'm not even low key. I literally just made a video about it. Like I like the design. What am I gonna say? I like the design. I like that it's different. Give me something different. Don't give me something that reminds me of my childhood. And then when the movie ends up being bad, it's like I got this bad like vision of my childhood now um i'd rather it be its own thing so that's just me you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below i am nathaniel robo jets from this prime be sure to drop a like on this video subscribe for more content and i will catch all of you guys in the next video